Hi everyone, today in front of me I have the Samsung Galaxy A33 smartphone and in this video we would like to show what are the best display settings that you can change on this device. So let's go ahead and start. First of all you gotta open up the settings app. Here look for the display category and here we are. So the first setting that uh, we are able to alter is the setting that allows us to switch between light and dark modes of our device. We highly recommend that you use the dark theme um, in occasions where you do not have enough ambient lightning, for example at night. The dark mode settings allow you to set up some custom schedule, for example, uh, once enabled you can go ahead and set it up so the dark mode will be activated from sunset to sunrise or choose any custom schedule setting any custom time frames. Next we have the brightness setting that by altering which we will increase or respectively decrease the brightness level of our display. And there is also this adaptive brightness switch that once enabled uh, automatically regulates and adjusts the brightness level of your display in accordance with the ambient lightning you have around you. Next we have a cool setting that is called motion smoothness. It's basically responsible for changing the refresh rates of your screen. There are two values to choose from. Uh, the high value gaining, uh, giving us 90 hertz of a refresh rate and smoother animations and scrolling experience. While uh, choosing the standard value, we will be granted with 60 hertz of screen refresh rate and longer battery life. Alright, so moving on to the next setting, which is the eye comfort shield. As you will see now, once enabled, it filters out uh, the excessive amounts of the blue light and makes everything look warmer. By tapping on the setting, we will be also able to configure it. For example, uh, if we were if you were to choose the custom, we can choose the color temperature, so make the color uh, the interface very warm or respectively very cold. And there is also an opportunity to set up some schedule for it for its uh, automatic activation. And there is also the adaptive mode which will automatically adjust the icon for chilled uh, level, uh, the level of warmness uh, to the ambient lightning you have around you. And uh, also it is based at the time of the day of course. Next we have the screen mode, uh, which basically is stands for the color scheme and uh, color regulations of your interface. There are two presets that we can choose from vivid and natural. You can regulate the white balance or go into advanced settings and manually regulate red, green and blue colors. The setting also has the pictures for the preview with very vivid and joyful colors, so we will see what exactly how we set up. Next we have the font size and style, uh, which allows us to increase or decrease the font size, enable or disable the bold fonts feature, and choose what uh, fonts we will be using. There are a few fonts uh, that are here by default, but you can always download some custom fonts from the web. Next, we have the screen zoom feature, which allows us to regulate the elements of our interface, decreasing or increasing them respectively. The next setting is the screen timeout, oh, my bad, full screen apps, which allows us to regulate and control the full screen modes of some of the applications. As you can see, uh, there are no applications at the least for us to configure and set up since all the apps that are currently installed on our smartphone support the full screen uh, by default. And there is also the opportunity for us to set up and configure the camera cutout zone that is located on top of the, uh, your screen, on top of the display on this device. As you can see, there is the list of apps and we can configure this uh, camera cutout for each app individually. Next, we have the screen timeout. Uh, quite a few values that we can choose. This is the setting that is responsible for 
uh, after how much time our screen will automatically turn off if we will not do anything with it. So uh, it sets up the value, the time value that our system needs our phone to be idle, in idle status in order for it to turn its screen off automatically. Next we have easy mode uh, by enabling which we will increase all the elements in the interface, make them way better visible as you can see, increase icons, texts and like overall all interface parts, all interface elements. And there are also some configurations to it, so... Alright, uh, we are moving on to the next uh, setting, display setting that is called edge panels. So once enabled, as you can see, this gray bar appears on the top right uh, part of your display by calling, which we'll see that uh, this vertical bar appears with some of the app shortcuts that can be regulated and edited. So you can add some apps uh, to this bar or remove some apps from it. Very convenient tool, if you ask me. And in order to hide it, just swipe uh, right. In order to respectively open it, swipe left. Then there is this accidental touch protection option, which once enabled, once activated, protects your phone from accidental touches when it's in dark place, such as a pocket or back. There are also uh, there is also a switch which allows us to increase or not increase the touch sensitivity. A very useful function once you have the uh, protective glass on your display. So if you think that uh, the, your, the screen of your device is lacking some of the touch sensitivity, you can just go ahead and uh, turn on the switch. And next we have the show charging information switch, which once activated will show the battery level and estimated time until full when the screen is off once the phone is charging. And there is also the screen saver function, uh, which once enabled uh, allows you to show a screen saver itself basically after the screen turns off automatically while your phone is charging. We can set up what uh, exactly is going to be shown at the screen saver, colors, photo frame, photo table or photos from the gallery of course. Alright, so as you can see that was it not only for the display settings on this device but for this video in general. So if you found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye!